Hey everyone, so this is the brand new 2024 Amazon Fire HD 8. The one I have here is gonna be the base version. This is a hundred bucks here in the US. If you wanna spend an, an extra $30 here in the US, you can get four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage. Otherwise, if you get the version I have here for a hundred bucks, you get three gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage. This is still using the same processor that was in the last generation, the 2022 version. Uh, and essentially the base version for hundred bucks is the plus version from last generation. So you get three gigabytes of RAM, you get the eight inch HD display, uh, and you get the same MediaTek processor uh, in both of these. So if you already have a plus version from last generation, the 2022 version, there's no reason to upgrade to this new one because it's you're, you're, it's the same thing. It's really just the same tablet, just with a new color. Speaking of colors, you have this new emerald green. The camera does not do this color justice. This thing is beautiful. You also have black, and then you also have a hibiscus, which is like a pink color. You do get a micro SD card slot expansion right there for up to one terabyte card. You do get two speakers. So you do have stereo speakers. You have your power button, volume rocker, mic, USB type C, and a headphone jack. You also have a front facing camera as well as a rear facing camera. Again, this is an eight inch HD, not full HD, just regular HD display. It looks all right. This is as bright as it'll get. So for inside, it looks good. Uh, it's nice and, oh, it's bright enough. We'll put it that way. It's bright enough. If you go outside into very bright sunlight, you might not be able to see this too well. It's not the brightest of screens, but it is good for inside. Let's talk about actually using this device and is it actually worth it? Again, if you have the last generations, especially the plus version, this is not really an upgrade. It's basically the same as like tablet. They are talking about adding in some AI stuff that is not yet released. Uh, we'll be down the road. Who knows when? It just says soon. Uh, so there is some AI stuff that will be coming to this device. Um, but again, I cannot actually do them right now because they're not out. I have always said these devices are excellent for ebook reading. So like here is Kindle. It looks very, very good on here. It is nice and fast and fluid going through different pages. No issues with anything like anything like that. You can also do comics on here a lot better than an e-ink device, except for now they do have the new color e-inks on the Kindles, uh, the Kindle e-readers. This is way cheaper though, and I think this is still probably gonna be better. So you actually have color. Again, this is nice and quick, skipping through pages, unlike on an e-ink device, it takes a bit longer. You can zoom in. Again, the zooming in is nice and quick. And again, you can zoom in and you can read things a lot better. And again, everything is nice and colorful. So again, I really like these devices for uh, ebook reading or comic reading or whatever. Uh, for reading on a tablet, they are awesome. I think it is better than on an e-ink display, uh, unless you have very sensitive eyes. Videos on here are pretty decent. You do have these big bezels all around it. Again, it is only HD, not full HD and it is an eight inch device. So there are gonna be better tablets out there, but for what it is, it is actually pretty decent. And again, it does have stereo speakers and they do get decently loud. So that is up all the way. So the speakers actually sound rather good. And again, they do get loud enough. They do get decently loud, uh, unless you're in a very loud environment. They should be more than fine. Uh, so for watching videos, this is a rather good device. And it loads in videos, at least on YouTube, rather quickly as well. Moving on to web browsing. Again, this is only a $100 device, and it's not gonna be the quickest of devices out there, but for what it is, it is actually decently quick. Going on to pay, uh, web pages like Pokemon.com here, you can see it. it's actually really smooth too. Like scrolling through this is actually rather smooth, and it loads in pretty quickly. We're going here and it actually loads in rather quick. Now, if you go on to heavier websites such as Best Buy's website, bestbuy.com, everything will take a little bit longer to load in. So getting to the website is rather quick, 
but waiting for everything to load in 100% is going to take a little bit more time. We'll go on to the iPad mini here. Again, this all loads in rather quick. It's not the worst for web browsing. It just isn't going to be the quickest either, uh, depending on what you're going on to, of course. Again, Best Buy is a little bit of a heavier website. And everything loading in will take a little bit more time than other web than other websites like Pokemon.com. I know a lot of people will buy these for their kids or maybe even themselves for Roblox. So again, this is a hundred dollar device. This is going to be better than the Fire Seven, uh, but it's not going to be as good as say the Max Eleven, or the Fire Max Eleven. Uh, it's going to take a little bit to load in. This will be able to play most Roblox games, at least on the lowest graphic settings. So like here we're on Easy Obby, and you can see like this loads in very, very well. Now, if you go to play higher end, higher graphically intensive games, uh, such as like Arsenal, um, do things like Royal High, stuff like that, you are gonna have frame rate drops. In Arsenal, it is usually hovering around 20 to 30 frames per second, even in the lowest graphic settings. And of course, the higher your graphic settings are, the lower your FPS is going to be. But for games like this Abbey game, Easy Abbey, uh, this actually works very, very well. We'll jump off the edge here. And you see everything works very well. But again, on higher graphics games, uh, you might have a little bit more issues with it. Uh, and that is where I would recommend getting a, maybe something like the Fire Max 11. Um, unless you don't mind playing in those graphics and having a little bit of wonkiness to it. Uh, if you guys want to see more on Roblox, you can check out my dedicated Roblox game uh, gameplay video for this tablet. But all in all, for a $100 device, it is not terrible. There are definitely worse devices out there, uh, even some that are a little bit more money than this one. If you do have the previous generation's plus version, there's really no reason to buy this one because it's the same thing, just with new colors on it. Uh, but again, for ebook reading, like Kindle, this thing is awesome and I highly recommend it for that. Watching videos on YouTube, stuff like that is pretty good as well. Again, it is stuck at just HD, not full HD, definitely not 4K. For gaming, it is okay in low graphics. Uh, all depends on what game you're going to play. There are going to be games you're probably just not going to be able to play on this device just because it cannot handle it. Uh, and then for doing things like Facebook, it's actually rather well, which I did not show off yet, but this is actually loads in very, very well on social media, at least for Facebook. Uh, things like offer up, it will take a little bit longer to load in, but once you're in, it works just fine. So all in all, it is a decent device. You guys can let me know what you think though, but for $100, if you need a basic tablet, this is a pretty basic tablet and it'll probably do what you want it to do. Uh, if you want something higher end, like for high end gaming, uh, 4K video watching, stuff like that, this will not be it. But again, you guys let me know what you think. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good one. I'll see you next time.